The first hand I am going to talk about today is a King 10 suited I received in middle position. I do an open raise. I am going to have some problems pronouncing the names in English because most of them I don't know how to pronounce them. But anyway, Bottom decides to do a 3 bet, Smildo, I guess it is it. And in this situation, uh, I don't think my hand is good enough to do a call 3 bet, so I have to decide to either fall or do 4 bet. I think this hand is reasonable to use uh, doing 4 bets. In these positions, I don't want to use upsuit hands. Uh, I want them to have more equity. And blockers are very important here. You don't want to do a call 3-bet with this hand when Smildo might be doing 3-bets with hands like King, Queen as a bluff. And he has, of course, a lot of value hands like Ace King, Ace Queen. So basically, King 10 is a really not good hand to, to go into that situation. So I decided to forbet and Smildo did call. The flop comes uh, awesome for me. This is one of those situations where you want to think about your whole range before you do any move. Anything you do here is alright for your hand, you are going to earn money, of course. But for example, if I have aces or kings uh, without flash draw, I don't want to do bad because there are about 50% of turns I don't want to see. When that happens, you want to do check. And the bluff range is also supporting the check because uh, this board is actually good for him. He has tons of hands with equity here. He might have tens, jacks, queens with a flash draw, and maybe jack 10, maybe queen jack, but all of those hands have something. So you don't want to bluff here and you don't want to do a bet with a hand that 50% of the turns are going to be bad for it, for it. So here I think I want to do check with everything, basically. I did check, Smildo decided to do uh, this small bet and I think it's a smart bet. He has, he knows he can represent a strong hands. So I cannot easily go all in with my medium range. Medium range, I'm thinking about kings or aces without a flash draw. Because if he has a um, queen jack, I think it's going to be pretty easy for him to fall. So there is no point to do all in here. His range is protected enough and I think his, his bet is smart. If I have ace 5 or any other bluff, he's getting a cheap fall, and I like his bet a lot. I, I don't think I can go all in easily here. I don't have also many ace kings with a flash draw, because part of them are in my call 3 bet range, and maybe I want to go all in sometimes preflop with some of them as well. So basically I want to do check call here. The turn is a beautiful car. I got the best hand possible. And of course I am doing check again. And Smildo decided to do check behind again. And now the river is a 9. And this is very interesting. Maybe some players might do all in here if they don't think enough about the situation. But when you do all in, all the hands that are going to do call are the hands that are doing all in when, do, when you do check. You are not getting calls with hands like aces without a flash. And he might have a bluff. He might have ace king without a flash. He might have that. It makes sense to me. So I think this is a very important check. I did check and he did all in, obviously. He decided to do all in with aces. And I think it's okay because I might have king king. I don't have many times a uh, queen queen. I don't have jack, 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 definitely. I'm not doing four bit with that hand. So it was close, but probably okay. 